Hey, I'm using those solar panels out front to actually heat the house. In this video, I'll show you what I'm doing. I certainly don't recommend you try this, and I don't want to do this long term, but I had the solar panels sitting out there, and man, I just, the sun's hitting them, and I wanted to do something. And I don't have the money right now for inverters and batteries and charge controllers. Uh, and this is going to be a little off-grid system. So I said, you know what, I'm going to hook it up to this electric baseboard. So I disconnected this. It was a 240 volt electric baseboard rated at 2500 watts. I disconnected it from the, uh, the house altogether. And now I've got the positive and negative leads coming in right here from the solar panels. So here's just the positive and negative. The positive wire from the solar panels is coming in right here going to this side of the resistor. The negative is jumping to the black wire which runs along the bottom before it loops back in on the other side. Now I took off this thermostat because my understanding is that these AC thermostats can't handle the DC electricity that it'll just arc and burn through. So I took this off so it's just hardwired right to the panels. Now, this thing's actually producing quite a bit of electricity. I monitored it, uh, I took a reading every hour uh, the last sunny day, and I'm going to put that graph up on the screen. So if any of you guys like the, uh, the geeky stuff like I do and want to see the actual numbers, you can pause the video now. But let's see what we're doing. This is a, a great little meter I got from Amazon, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But this is one of the few meters that I was able to find that actually allows you to take a, an amp reading on direct current without needing like a shunt or something in line. I can just clamp on. So let's see here. Right now we're doing 6.03 amps. So this thing's actually cranking out the heat right now. And uh, it's only 11 o'clock and it's already heated this crawl space up in 4 degrees. And all that heat is just going to help with the the whole house. So hey, this is just a simple way I was able to use the solar panels without needing to buy all that expensive equipment. Uh, as soon as I save up the money for it, I can't wait to put in a battery-based system. Hey, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I really hope I get to hear from somebody who's, say, an electrical engineer or something. Uh, my understanding is that these uh, resistors don't care if they have alternating current or direct current going through them. Um, I'm getting heat off of it, uh, but if any of you know uh, additional risks involved, uh, please leave them in the comments below, or you know, if this is okay, uh, leave them in the comments below. Let me know.